Uh, hello, hello, hello. Once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm continuing with the video on uh, raising children to be successful. Uh, it's uh, really a passion to be talking about raising children because if we don't talk about children, children is the future. They are the future leaders. You know, they are the future pastors, teachers, judges, lawyers, so presidents, prime ministers. So it is important that when we are raising our children, we are aware that these children, we are raising them to be somebody who is going to take on a responsible position in the world, not just in your home, but in the world at large. So last time we spoke about teaching these children to be finishers we spoke about teaching them that failure is not harmful it's part of the process and also to finish tasks timely and the other thing also eat healthy and keep our children fit and healthy encourage physical exercise so this afternoon, I just want to talk about uh, love, love. You know, we can teach our children anything, but if we don't teach them with love, if we don't show them love, it will be very difficult for children to achieve. So it's important that when we are teaching those children, let's show them love. When you are raising the children, show your children love. Love does not mean that you have to spoil them. Love does not mean that they have to get whatever they ask for. It does, it does not mean that you need to spoil the child. So it just means that there is that therapeutic relationship between you the parent and the child it also means that there is open communication with between you there is trust the child can trust and they fully know that as a parent you have their best interests probably this might be easier when children are still a bit younger but as they grow up uh, maybe in their teenage uh, stage and they begin to search and look for information for themselves yes they need to trust you they need to know that if they are passing through something they can come to you openly and you will not judge them before you respond to what they will be telling you so both girls boys children they need to be shown love they need to be confident that i can i can talk to my mother about this i can talk to my father about this they need to know that they need to know that you've got their back you are not going to judge them when we train up our children and we don't show them love this is why you find that some of the children they will hesitate to try things they will hesitate to be themselves to show their character this is why you find that we have parents who don't know their children that much because of the distance between them uh, so if one parent or a teacher tells you that your child did this and that, the parents will be like, what? That's not my child. I think you must be talking about someone else's child. Yes. He's talking about your child. As a parent, you need to know your child. And how do you know, how do you do that? You build a relationship that is open, honest, with trust so that the child can know that yes i can go to my parent yes i can talk anything about uh, that that i'm passing through with my parent yeah so let's take that on board show them love 
don't spoil them let them also let, let them let them even have some difficult situation learn to do things for themselves not always to pillow them up or to pamper them up you know sometimes we find that children who grow up having to fend for themselves to struggle you know they have learned some certain skills that those children who are just protected pampered and spoiled have not learned so we don't want to spoil them we provide their needs yes we want them to be satisfied to be happy but we're not spoiling them we are not you know uh, uh, hindering their own personal growth by spoiling them okay so the next thing also we're talking t about today is that you should teach your children to persevere teach your children to persevere this might be the greatest characteristic that you can instill in your child because as they grow up they will face challenges they will face hindrances even if they are going to pursue a career i remember um sometimes um in one of my on one of the fellowships that i attended a prayer group and we were praying and one of the sisters she came up with uh, she made a prayer request that was very um uh, touchy and she said she um she wants us to pray for a sister who is uh, studying um, medicine and um, so she has been failing her exams I think that was the second time or third time um, but she wasn't giving up she wasn't giving up so this is somebody who is already studied to a level where they have already done some you know levels in medicine and now they are failing so the lesson is fa failing will happen but teach them to persevere so persevering is is one of the things that we face in life if we want to achieve anything we need to learn how to persevere uh, sometimes life is not always what we expect it to be it does not always give you what you want sometimes you have to stretch yourself to get what you want so it is important that as we raise children they should be taught to understand that life is not always easy it is not always going to give you what you want but you have to know what you want and you have to pursue what you want you have to be ready to go and get what you want one of one of my daughters is like that i was just laughing with her the other day and she, saying to her oh you are a go-getter because she's that kind of person that once she set her mind to do something she will go for it she will not care whether people support her or don't support her but she will pursue what she she wants to do so that is one of the encouragement that i just want to share with your parents uh today and also the other thing is lead by example lead by example lead by example i like one of uh, uh john maxwell's quotes uh, on leadership he says a leader is someone who knows the way goes the way you know and can teach others how to get there so as parents we ought to be good leaders we ought to know the way so that we can also walk the way or maybe we have walked the way and then we expect our children to follow suit so Thank you very much for listening to this video share with your friends your family and also please subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be doing more of the videos god bless you have a lovely day